All right. So I'm getting a lot of questions regarding the stock 90 Duro bumper, which is here. And then the 50 Duro bumper, which is here. And I'll try to explain which is which and what, what's going on here. So the stock 90 durometer bumper, uh, 90 is a hardness. And so what it is, it's, it's telling you exactly how hard this rubber is. With this bumper, it's used just as that, a bumper. So as the bolt returns, it hits the bumper, stops that metal on metal contact, which you would get without it. Um, as you see, I can push on it. I'm pushing quite hard. There's really not much squish there. So when that bolt returns, it's pretty much hitting and just stopping metal on metal contact. Whereas with the 50, right? Same size bumper. Uh, it's a 111 metric size. Um, this, this bumper is softer. So this is a silicone high temp um, O-ring with a 50 durometer, which is quite soft and it's quite squishy. So if you see, I can actually See, I can squish it there. See this? See that? When I push it, it actually squishes. So it's got some impact absorption. So what I find is this bumper, when that bolt returns, this bumper actually absorbs some of that impact and keeps that impact from transferring through the bolt into the gun and then into your hand. In other words, it actually helps um, with the recoil as far as I'm concerned. I've had a buddy who shot my gun. He said the same thing. Um, and again, these are an easy, simple upgrade. Um, I call it an upgrade that you can do for your marker just to try to smooth it out some. So I hope that answers some questions. If there's more, I will try to get another video up and we'll go from there. Thanks.